Hello. Welcome now. This session, I will uh, demonstrate a simple lab program which includes different data transfer instructions and jump instructions. This program also includes different uh, addressing modes where we have direct addressing mode, indirect addressing mode, indexed addressing mode, and register addressing modes. First, we will see what is the program, how to write the program, then the same program will be executed in Peel software and we will see the result. Here, a program is taken which states write an ALP to move block of data from one memory location to another memory location. Here, we are considering internal memory location. Internal memory location in the sense 8 bit. Let us begin with the program. We have to assign source address and destination address for copying the data or transferring the data from internal memory location that is source to destination. And also we should decide how many bytes of data we need to transfer. Whether we are transferring five bytes of data, 10 bytes of data, or 15 bytes of data, depending upon the requirement. That means we need to initialize three things here. First, I should initialize the source from where I have to copy the data. Second thing I should initialize the destination where to transfer the data. Third thing I need to initialize a counter, a counter which will transfer what amount of data is to be considered. So the first instruction move or not comma 30H is initialization of source address. Then the second instruction move R1 comma 40H is initialization of destination address. Means to say the data present in memory location 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Five data will be transferred to memory location 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. So we have taken five data to be transferred from memory location 30 to 40. So this instruction move a comma at the rate of or not will copy the content of memory location 30 into accumulator whatever data presents in memory location 30 will be copied to accumulator and the next instruction which performs move 
at the rate of r1 comma a so here what happens is the content of accumulator is stored with the memory location pointed by r1 and the memory location pointed by r1 is 40 now i can say that this instruction will transfer the content of accumulator to memory location 40 and these two instructions will transfer the content of uh, memory location 30 to memory location 40 means one data is transferred from 30 to 40 so remaining the data are present we should check it so next i should transfer the data which is present in 31 to 41 so what we do is r not was pointed to 30 i increment r not it will point at 31 r1 was pointing to 40 i will increment r1 no it will be pointed to 41 so here r not is pointing to 31 r1 is pointing to 41 so this four instructions are to be repeated how many number of times the counter number of times since i have five data as present now decrement r2 the content of r2 was 5 if i decrement it will become 4 so i need to repeat these instruction four number of times so i give a label next so then that label next will point here and these four instructions are repeated again four times and the program execution stops when the content of r2 becomes zero this is the end of the program so this is what happens when we execute this program in keel software now let us begin let us see the execution of this program in keel software let's go to the execution of this uh, program in keel software the same program has been uh, written here then let us uh, begin executing save the program then it has been added into the source group the program name is 1 and then we run it so no errors then debugging or start stop session let us give the input and output uh, to this and so that we can uh, check the result here so the program is uh, had run now now we have to give input to memory location uh, 30 and we should see the result in memory location 40 and we have to give five uh, number of data so let us give input in memory location 30 i just give a b c d e so this is the input what i have given you can observe here five input data has been given here a b c d and e now let us see the result in 40 we have not uh, executed it so in memory location 40 the result is 0000 and once i run the program the content of uh, 30 31 32 33 34 should be transferred to 40 41 42 43 Four four. So let me run the program now. If I run, yes, the data is been transferred or copied. So we can see here in memory location three zero, it is A A A B A A B B C D and E, and that has been transferred to memory location four zero four one four two four three and four four. Or I can also see it in a separate memory window. So it is A B. C, D, and E. This is all about uh, the first program where we executed uh, 
the transfer of data from one memory location that is 30 to another memory location 40 internally thank you